The world thrives on decisions. From the mundane to the monumental, our choices shape the course of our lives. In the realm of artificial intelligence we seek to imbue machines with this very capacity for intelligent decision-making. This is where reinforcement learning or RL takes center stage. At its core, reinforcement learning is about learning through interaction. Imagine an agent, be it a self-driving car or a game-playing program navigating an environment. This agent takes actions, observes their consequences, and learns to make better decisions over time. We begin with Markov Decision Processes, or MDPs, the bedrock of RL. These processes provide a powerful framework for modeling sequential decision-making tasks. So, let's embark on this intellectual adventure, unraveling the mathematical essence of reinforcement learning. Imagine a game of chess. Each move you make leads to a new configuration of the board, a new state in the game. Your opponent then makes their move, leading to yet another state. This back and forth continues, a sequence of decisions shaping the trajectory of the game. This, in essence, is the essence of sequential decision-making, and Markov Decision Processes, or MDPs, provide the mathematical framework to model such processes. An MDP consists of several key components. States. A state represents a snapshot of the environment at a particular point in time. Actions. At each state, an agent has a set of possible actions it can take. Transition probabilities. Taking an action in a given state leads to a new state. But this transition is not always deterministic. Reward function. Not all states are created equal. Some are more desirable than others. Discount factor. In many sequential decision-making problems, rewards in the future are less valuable than rewards received immediately. These five components work together to define an MDP, providing a formal framework for modeling a wide range of sequential decision-making problems. By understanding these components we can begin to see how RL agents can learn to make optimal decisions in such environments. This understanding is crucial for designing intelligent systems. The Markov property lies at the heart of MDPs and is crucial for making these problems tractable. This property essentially states that the future is independent of the past, given the present. In simpler terms, the current state of the system encapsulates all the information needed to predict the future. Consider our chess game once more. The current state of the board, the arrangement of all the pieces, tells us everything we need to know to make our next move. It doesn't matter how the pieces arrived at their current positions, only where they are now. This is the essence of the Markov property. The Markov property dramatically simplifies the problem of sequential decision-making. Instead of having to remember the entire history of states and actions, our agent only needs to focus on the current state. This simplification is crucial for making RL algorithms computationally feasible. Within the framework of MDPs, Transition probabilities play a crucial role in determining the agent's journey through the state space. These probabilities quantify the likelihood of moving from one state to another when a specific action is taken. They capture the inherent stochasticity or randomness often present in real-world environments. Mathematically we denote the transition probability as follows, P is S, A. This notation represents the probability of transitioning to status when action A is taken in state S. For instance, imagine our robot navigating a grid world. Let's say there's a small probability that the robot's wheels might slip, causing it to veer slightly off course. The transition probabilities would reflect this uncertainty. Understanding transition probabilities is essential for RL agents. They need to learn these probabilities from their interactions with the environment to make informed decisions. In the world of reinforcement learning, not all states are created equal. Some states bring us closer to our goals, while others lead us astray. This is where rewards come into play, providing a way to quantify the desirability of different outcomes. The reward function assigns a numerical value to each state or state action pair. A high reward indicates a desirable outcome, while a low or negative reward signals an undesirable one. However, in sequential decision-making problems we're often interested in maximizing not just the immediate reward, but the cumulative reward over time. This is where the concept of return comes in. The goal of an RL agent is to learn a policy that maximizes the expected return. By defining a clear reward function and considering the long-term consequences of actions, we provide our RL agents with the guidance they need to make intelligent decisions. 
At the heart of reinforcement learning lies a fundamental equation known as the Bellman equation. This equation provides a recursive relationship between the value of a state and the values of its successor states, forming the cornerstone of many RL algorithms. The value function represents the expected return an agent can achieve starting from a state and following its policy thereafter. The Bellman equation elegantly relates the value of a state to the values of its successor states. Vs equals sign max underscore ARs A plus gamma sigma PSS AVs. This equation tells us that the value of the current state is equal to the expected immediate reward plus the discounted expected value of the next state. The Bellman optimality equation builds on this concept by defining the value of a state under an optimal policy, V, S. This equation states that the value of a state under an optimal policy is equal to the maximum expected return achievable from that state. These Bellman equations provide the theoretical foundation for many RL algorithms. They enable us to solve MDPs and find optimal policies. Understanding these equations is crucial for designing effective RL systems. Armed with the Bellman equation, we can now explore a family of algorithms known as dynamic programming or DP that allow us to solve MDPs and find optimal policies. These algorithms leverage the principle of breaking down a complex problem into simpler, overlapping subproblems. Two prominent DP algorithms in RL are policy iteration and value iteration. Policy iteration involves three main steps, policy evaluation, policy improvement, and repeat. Value iteration involves value update, repeat, and extract optimal policy. Both policy iteration and value iteration guarantee convergence to the optimal policy and value function, given sufficient time and computational resources. However, they have different computational complexities and convergence rates, making them suitable for different types of problems. Dynamic programming methods provide a powerful toolset for solving MDPs, particularly when the environment's dynamics are fully known. However, they have limitations, especially when dealing with large state spaces or when the environment's dynamics are unknown. This is where model-free methods come into play, offering more flexible and scalable approaches to reinforcement learning. These methods enable agents to learn and adapt to environments with uncertain dynamics. In future discussions, we'll delve into these model-free methods. They have revolutionized the field of RL. They empower agents to tackle a wide range of challenging tasks. In this exploration of reinforcement learning's mathematical foundations, we've journeyed through the fundamental concepts that underpin this transformative field. We began with Markov Decision Processes, or MDPs, a powerful framework for modeling sequential decision-making problems. We delved into the Markov property, which simplifies these problems by emphasizing the importance of the present. We explored the nuances of transition probabilities, capturing the inherent uncertainties in real-world environments. We then ventured into the realm of rewards and returns, understanding how to quantify desirable outcomes and incentivize our agents to achieve our goals. The Bellman equation took center stage, revealing the recursive relationship between the values of states and guiding us towards optimal policies. Finally, we touched upon dynamic programming methods like policy iteration and value iteration, powerful algorithms that leverage the Bellman equation to solve MDPs and find optimal solutions. Our journey is far from over. In future explorations, we'll delve into model-free methods, exploring algorithms like Q-learning and Sarsa that empower agents to learn optimal policies without explicit knowledge of the environment's dynamics. <laughs>